In the dimly lit corridors of global power, a seismic shift occurred when the United States made a bold decision to impose sweeping sanctions on China's semiconductor industry. This move was not just a strategic maneuver. It was a bold declaration of technological dominance. The sanctions aimed to limit China's access to advanced chip technologies, framed as a national security concern. U.S. officials raised alarms about China's expanding military capabilities and growing cyber influence. Gina Raimondo, the U.S. Secretary of Commerce, emphasized that restricting China's access to critical technologies was essential for safeguarding U.S. national interests. The consequences of this decision were profound. Semiconductors, vital components of everything from smartphones to AI-driven systems, became the epicenter of a global struggle for technological supremacy. By cutting off China's access to these advanced chips, the U.S. sought to slow the rise of a formidable competitor. However, this calculated move set in motion something far greater, a global tech race that would unfold with unprecedented intensity. China's response was swift and resolute. The sanctions inadvertently accelerated a shift in the country's technological strategy, compelling it to prioritize self-reliance. This transition wasn't merely a reaction to the sanctions. It became a rallying cry for technological independence. In 2021, China imported a staggering $432 billion worth of semiconductors, underscoring its dependence on global suppliers. By 2023, that figure had dropped dramatically to $230 billion, a stunning $200 billion decline. This wasn't just a reduction in trade. It marked a revolutionary pivot fueled by initiatives like Made in China 2025, Billions of dollars were invested in domestic manufacturing, transforming companies like Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, SMIC, into key players in the global semiconductor market. Reports indicated that China's chip production capabilities soared, signaling a major shift in its technological landscape. But this raises important questions. How will this transformation affect industries that depend on Western suppliers? What does it mean for global trade? China's ambitions are rewriting the rulebook. And the world must ask, is China isolating itself from the global market or positioning itself as a tech giant capable of... For those who believed that U.S. sanctions had permanently stifled China's technological innovation, consider Huawei's 2023 release of the Mate 60 Pro, a smartphone powered by a domestically produced 7 nanometer Kirin chip. This milestone shattered industry expectations and silenced skeptics who doubted China's ability to innovate under such restrictions. Huawei's resilience didn't stop there. Its 5G base stations, now fully built with Chinese components, have become the backbone of the nation's digital infrastructure. As Tech Insights' Dan Hutcherson pointed out, China's technological resilience has exceeded even the boldest forecasts. These achievements are more than technical feats. They are declarations of independence. Consumers in China are already benefiting from reduced costs for 5G-enabled devices and expanded access to cutting-edge technology. Yet these advances raise a critical question for the rest of the world. Will this drive for self-reliance spark a new era of innovation? Or will it deepen existing geopolitical divides? And how will Western companies navigate this rapidly evolving landscape as they face growing competition from more affordable Chinese alternatives? The emergence of Chinese-made processors, such as the Lungan series, is reshaping industries like artificial intelligence and aerospace, fields once dominated by Western tech giants. Chinese companies are making waves with advancements in semiconductor manufacturing, and these chips are no longer limited to niche applications. They're now powering cutting-edge supercomputers and critical defense systems, challenging long-held assumptions about global technological dominance. In October 2023, a Reuters report highlighted how Chinese firms were using domestic chips to drive innovation in industrial robotics and autonomous vehicles, industries historically controlled by the United States. China's ability to produce 5 nanometer semiconductors driven by companies like SMIC has further disrupted the status quo. This breakthrough enables China to bypass export bans while pushing innovation in emerging fields like quantum computing. While these advancements mark significant progress for China, they raise tough questions. Are these developments making technology more accessible worldwide, or are they intensifying the fierce competition between tech superpowers? The competitive dynamics are already having ripple effects far beyond China. In Q3 2023, Intel reported a sharp 27% revenue drop from Chinese markets compared to the previous year. Similarly, 
Texas Instruments, a major supplier of analog chips, faced a $2.3 billion shortfall due to reduced demand from Chinese clients. These losses aren't isolated. They affect the broader tech ecosystem. As Chinese firms ramp up domestic chip production, U.S. companies are losing a vital revenue stream, one that once accounted for up to 30% of their annual sales. By 2023, China's share of global semiconductor manufacturing had surged from 15% in 2020 to 30%. This remarkable growth has been driven by extensive government subsidies and strategic partnerships with allied nations. Chinese chipmakers have constructed over 50 new fabrication facilities in just two years, an aggressive expansion that not only diversifies global production, but also intensifies competition with industry giants like Taiwan's TSMC and South Korea's Samsung. For consumers, this surge in production could lead to lower prices for electronic devices as increased supply from China exerts downward pressure on global prices. However, the broader implications extend far beyond tech gadgets as these changes are reshaping global supply chains and transforming international trade. Not all nations are benefiting equally from the global economic shift. South Korea's chip industry, heavily reliant on exports to China, has found itself an unexpected casualty of U.S. sanctions. Major companies like Samsung and SK Hynix are grappling with reduced market access, while Chinese competitors are making significant strides in DRAM and NAND technologies. According to Bloomberg, Samsung's semiconductor division experienced a 12% drop in revenue in Q3 2023, and SK Hynix reported its largest profit loss since 2017. Both companies are now racing to adapt to a market where Chinese firms are becoming increasingly self-sufficient. Whether South Korea's legacy of innovation will help it reclaim its competitive edge remains uncertain, or if this marks a permanent shift in the global tech hierarchy. China's influence is no longer confined to hardware production. The country's domestically developed chips are powering data centers, telecommunications networks, and AI platforms on a national scale. Leading tech giants like Alibaba and Tencent have begun replacing imported processors with homegrown alternatives. By 2023, Nikkei Asia reported that over 60% of China's cloud computing infrastructure was powered by Chinese-made chips. This transformation significantly reduces China's reliance on foreign suppliers, strengthening the resilience of its critical infrastructure. For everyday consumers, the reduced dependency on foreign technology has translated into more affordable electronics within China. Furthermore, this push for self-reliance boosts China's standing as a global tech leader, potentially redefining how nations approach technological sovereignty and economic partnerships. As China continues to carve its own path, the global tech ecosystem finds itself at a crossroads. Will these advancements usher in a new era of collaboration, or will they deepen the divide between tech superpowers? Only time will reveal the full impact of China's rise on innovation and global accessibility. However, one thing is clear. The rules of the game are changing, and the world must adapt to this new reality. China's semiconductor industry is evolving rapidly, driven by a blend of resilience and innovation. Devices powered by domestic chips are becoming more widespread, signaling a move towards greater self-reliance. Meanwhile, global markets are feeling the ripple effects, with potential shortages and price hikes impacting regions that heavily depend on imports from China. The question remains, can this rapid progress sustain itself without sacrificing quality or stability? At the forefront of this shift are companies like SMIC and YMTC, which are redefining the global semiconductor market. SMIC's ability to manufacture advanced nodes, including 7 nanometer chips, directly challenges U.S. export controls. Meanwhile, YMTC's groundbreaking 232-layer NAND flash memory is setting new standards in consumer electronics. According to The Economist, these companies aren't just catching up. They're leapfrogging ahead, creating new benchmarks in performance and efficiency. Their rise is challenging long-established players like Intel and TSMC, shifting the balance of global influence. The U.S. intended to curb China's technological progress through sanctions, but may have underestimated its rival. Rather than stifling progress, these restrictions have spurred unprecedented investment in research and development. In 2023 alone, China invested over $2 billion into semiconductor innovation, fostering a survival mindset among its tech firms. This intense focus on self-reliance has driven innovation beyond expectations, raising a critical question. 
have U.S. policies unintentionally fueled the very competition they sought to suppress. China's dominance as the world's largest chip purchaser, accounting for 38% of global demand in 2023, amplifies its bargaining power. Global suppliers, including ASML and Applied Materials, now face the delicate task of balancing compliance with U.S. policies against the economic risks of losing access to the Chinese market. How will these dynamics evolve if China begins leveraging its purchasing power to rewrite the rules of global trade? YMTC's achievement in producing 232-layer NAND flash memory represents a turning point. This innovation positions China as a leader in high-capacity storage solutions, crucial for data-driven industries, with competitors like Micron and Western Digital lagging behind. The epicenter of memory technology innovation could shift from Silicon Valley to Shenzhen, altering industry benchmarks and reshaping the competitive landscape. Securing technological independence has given China a significant geopolitical edge by reducing its vulnerability to external sanctions. This strengthens its position in international negotiations. Chris Miller, author of Chip War, describes China's progress in semiconductors as a game changer. Could this signify a new era where technological power reshapes global alliances and economic strategies? Despite its achievements, Questions remain about the sustainability of China's semiconductor independence. The U.S.-China chip conflict serves as a stark reminder of the unintended consequences of weaponizing technology. While sanctions aim to stifle China's progress, they have inadvertently catalyzed innovation, accelerating fragmentation in the global tech landscape. This polarization poses risks for all stakeholders, as the competitive race for supremacy often overlooks long-term stability. The critical question remains. Can nations balance competition with collaboration in the digital age? As the semiconductor race continues, multilateral cooperation in innovation and trade policies may become essential to avoid further fragmentation. International tech alliances could stabilize markets and foster shared growth. However, the success of such efforts depends on whether global powers can overcome competitive dynamics and embrace a cooperative future. China's ascent from the ashes of sanctions as a formidable tech powerhouse has permanently reshaped the global semiconductor landscape. The world is watching closely as this unfolding saga of rivalry, resilience, and innovation rewrites the rules of geopolitics and technology. If you enjoyed this analysis, please like and subscribe to our channel. Check out the next video on your screen for